So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to get this high resolution georeferenced image directly from QGIS. Welcome to GeoCarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. So open QGIS and then now we need to get a plugin. Unfortunately, this plugin does not exist in the plugin list inside QGIS. So we need to download this plugin and install it manually on QGIS. So to get the Tide Plus plugin, just Google it and download it from one of those websites or simply click on the link in the description below. After that, just go to install from zip file and here all what you need to, to do is to click on this button and navigate to where you saved your zip file. Then click on, on the zip file tile plus, click on open and then click on install plugin. Now click on install and there you can see that we got our plugin. Now just close this window and you will get your plugin right here which is this one. Click on it and here you can select from a bunch of, of data sources. For example, in our case, we'll use Google Satellite. Click on it. Just click on this plus button. And close the window. Here you can see that we got the image of the entire globe. Now zoom in to the area where you want to get your image. For example, I will get an image from here in Europe, from Switzerland. I will use this example. As you can see, the resolution is quite fine on those images. So in order to download your image, go to your layer, right click on it and go to export, then click on save as. You will get this window. So the first thing to do is to uncheck create VRT because this option is creating a bunch of tiles. In our case, we only want one image and set the format to GeoChief, which is the best suitable format for this kind of georeferenced image. So here you can specify where you want to save your image, name it and click on save. So here in CRS coordinate reference system, I will just lead it to the coordinate system of my layer. And from here, you can specify your area of interest. So you have three options to choose from. The first one is the current layer extent. We will not use this option because it allows to download the whole layer. The second option is used when you have, for example, a shape file which specifies your area of interest. So the, the last option allows us to download the map Canva, which is the map visible on screen. I will choose this one. As you can see, the coordinates change it. So for the resolution, it depends on where your area of interest is located around the globe. For my case, I'm in Europe and in Europe, the resolution of Google satellite images is very high. It's up to 0.15 meters. It's also the case in North America. So just play with your resolution until you find the most suitable value for your area of interest. So for my case, I will use zero. 0.15 in horizontal and then vertical resolution. So that's it. Just let other parameters to default and then click on OK. Now our map was exported successfully. As you can see here, I will uncheck this layer and I will zoom out on my image. As you can see, we got our image and it was also saved in our work folder as you can see here. So this image is a georeferenced image and you can use it in any other GIS software like for example ArcGIS. So this is our final result as you can see the resolution is very high. If you got some information from this tutorial please like it and subscribe to get more tutorials.